G'day everybody, I'm Jason and today we're going to learn about Fit Media. So if you're not already logged in, um, you can tell from your top right hand corner of the EarSketch workstation, uh, please go back and take a look at lessons one and two which will run you through the steps to make sure you're able to be logged in. We want to make sure that everyone's able to save their work today and not lose uh, any of the effort that we put in or anything we create that uh, we might turn into a masterpiece one day. So uh, let's just talk a little about Fit Media. Fit Media um, takes an audio file and it fits it as many times as possible in a range that you are able to uh, specify. And it either cuts the media file short or it will loop it as many times as uh, necessary. So first of all, we have to find a, a media file that we'd like to use. And I'm going to go through the sound uh, file browser here and choose Richard Devine and the Techno 125 each minute and uh, let's go down to the I've got a couple open here already the T main loop uh, section and just uh, go ahead and open that up and you'll find uh, the one that I like for the beginning of this project uh, T main loop 03, so we can preview that and see uh, what that's like. Um, but you don't have to use the same one that I am. Uh, play around, have a look at some different ones. Um, now we're going to go down to the uh, coding window, and this is just like a notepad uh, or any other text editor that you might have used before. We can type anything we want in here. So if we want to put in our comment for Fit Media so that we know what we're going to do. You don't have to put this in yours. It's just a um, sort of like explanation about what it is we're going to be doing to the things we need to put into the Fit Media API. The track number, the starting location, and ending location. So whenever we call Fit Media, we need to make sure we're putting these in. So first of all, we need to give it a sound file. And so let's just go ahead and choose this one that I have open already, Techno Main Loop. And we want it to be on track number one, starting location one, and we're going to have this go through to track, uh, sorry, to ending location nine. So if I run that, you can see it starts at one, it's on track number one, and it finishes at ending location measure nine. Um, let's just add in a couple more that we want to mix together with that, just as an example. And I've picked out a couple uh, previously uh, for this. So the next one I'm putting in is the bass, uh, I think it was club lead, no. And this one here, one comma one comma nine. We want this to be on track two. That's the only difference. It's going to be the same length, same starting position and ending position. And then the next one we have is uh, the base that we wanted. And I'm going to use the acid base number 10 for this. And this is on track three from one to nine. And if you run this, you can see that's loaded in three tracks now. You can play a little bit of that. And why don't you uh, see what yours sounds like and go ahead with yours. And then um, for the next step, we're going to go through and make another part of the music that comes after this. And I'm just putting in a comment. Again, the computer doesn't read these. Section B. And I've added in another section I'm just going to paste in here from my uh, notepad. And you can see what I've done is actually added in three different sounds to the original ones. They're all on track one, two, and three, similar to above, but the starting and ending locations are from nine to 17. And that means we're going to have um, more music that's going to be added to the ending of what we have at the moment. So when I run that, I now have 17 measures of music 
And I'm going to jump to measure 5 with my playhead and just play to give you a listen to what that sounds like now when we shift from one um, section of the music to the other. <laughs> So you can see that nice transition there, um, and we'll learn more about how to add other different effects to blend out and in um, in later lessons as well. So I think that's it for today. The last thing we want to do is make sure we save our script, and I've put in the name Fit Media here previously. So I'm just going to save and write over the top of my old file, and so now um, that's our first uh, lesson completed. So you'll see a uh, exercise for you to complete at the uh, bottom of this video. So please go ahead and do that. And the next um, lesson will be going over the specifics of this code and what's actually happening here. So stay tuned to learn a lot more about the coding practices.